to him for, for guidance. Um, from very early, I admired my father tremendously. So everything that I did was to follow in his footsteps. So there are a lot of things that, that, that I remember about my dad. My dad never really came to watch me play cricket or football or anything like that. But anytime there was cricket, he would purchase a, a little transistor and so that he can listen to the, to the games. And as soon as the games were finished, he would put it down and next day he'd have to buy another one because somebody would have taken the transistor. And that was a really um, feature of, of his life. And I, I think what he did to us is, is to instill a lot of discipline in us. Even when we came to our education, he actually told us that um, the police has a police scholarship and we should work hard enough to get a police scholarship to go to St. Mary's College. And every one of us did that. I would describe my father as, as being very jovial, um, but tough. Um, a gentleman who loved what he did as, as a police officer and somebody who had a tremendous love and respect for his wife. For her, the 50 or 60 years that they were together, that was the only person she knew. Um, so he had this special love for, for my mom. Um, and in his latter days, oh, I mean, he, he really relied on being around her. Uh, and when she, when she was gone, I realized that it really took a big toll on him. Although it was difficult for him to take care of her while, while she was alive, but not having her around, you could, you could actually sense that he was missing her tremendously. Uh, and so we had already told him that we were going to give him 100 years because he's strong, he was walking every morning. But we realized that the loss of my mother took a toll on him and, and we were not so surprised when he, when he left. Yeah, well, funny enough, um, my, my, my first daughter was born while I was at the training school in Barbados. I joined the police force and um, immediately I didn't spend more than two months in the police force and I was sent to Barbados. And while I was in Barbados, my, my girlfriend called me and told me that she was pregnant and, and so on. And, and she gave birth even before I came back um, to, to St. Lucia. So I, I think I was extremely happy and, I was, and, and it reflected in what I did in Barbados. I mean, I, I got the most marks a, a recruit has ever gotten in Barbados up to a day like today. Um, first generation to get best recruit. And, and I think it's because I was so happy that I had a daughter um, that it helped me um, study very easily. Uh, and so it was a good feeling. Um, and when I came back, I, again, I, I said, people said that um, when a man has his first child is a, is a girl, that he's blessed. And I think I'm still blessed because the Lord has given me long life and he has given me an opportunities to serve my people and to be able to do things um, with my other kids and other persons who um, I meet on a daily basis. Well, I want my children to understand that you have to be firm in your beliefs, you have to be honest, you have to be dedicated to what you want to do, and you have to work hard for anything that you want to achieve. Um, life is not easy, you're going to get bumps in the road, persons are going to criticize you when you make certain decisions, but if in your own mind you recognize that the decision that you have taken is the correct one, then you go for it. Um, so my children are, are go-getters. I remember my young son, Junior. Um, at 14 years, he was the national um, table tennis champ, both junior and senior at the same time, 14 years old. Uh, and I only taught him to play table tennis on our living uh, dining table in the living room. And every year he would just go and just beat everybody because he knew his dad was a superstar when he came to sports. So he emulated me and, and I, I think that's what fathers must do, is to instill good values in your children. My children have taught me a lot, you know, in that um, some of them are very demanding. Um, they, some of them want extra attention from you. Um, and, and that is not always possible, but you try your very best to, to do um, the, the best for them. What has happened to some of my children is that they have excelled in education and they've shown me that maybe had I taken my schoolwork a little more seriously when I was younger, instead of playing all the sports, football, cricket, athletics, table tennis and studied, maybe I would have gone further. Um, but I'm happy that they have recognized the importance of education and they are now pursuing their degrees in, in Taiwan. Well, I, I think that's the greatest gift a man has, is, 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 is his children and he has to spend an, an, a lot of time as possible with them. He has to dedicate his life to his children to make sure that um, they achieve more than he did. Uh, and so sometimes, like I said, it's, it's a big sacrifice. Um, you don't have the sufficient funds and so on, but you make that sacrifice to make sure that they, they, they are taken care of. 
And it doesn't take much. Just a little hello, a hi, and, and so on, you visit them. And, and I think that that, that that works tremendously well. Unfortunately for me, um, none of my kids are in St. Lucia presently. They're overseas. Um, four of them are in, in New York and two in Taiwan. But we do speak. Um, I'm, I'm part of the, the family group chat. And, and so I, I know what is happening with all of them. I, I want to wish um, all fathers a very happy and enjoyable Father's Day especially the, the fathers in, in, in the Ford South, the constituency in which I want to um, represent in it after the next general elections. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a joy and, and a privilege to be a father. This is a gift that we have gotten from God, uh, and I think we need to make the most of it. Um, like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's, sometimes it's very difficult. We get children who have different um, personalities, but we have to persevere. Um, and when we do persevere and we see that they're doing exceptionally well, we get the pride and joy that we want. Even those who are not doing um, that well, we cannot forget them. We have to be able to try to um, instill in them some discipline. Young people, especially now, will make mistakes. Do not allow your children to go astray. Do not give up on them. At every opportunity, try to be there for them and give them a helping hand. Happy Father's Day to all fathers in the world in St. Lucia and especially you fought south.